I hope you guys are ready for another banger sneaker resale simulator video because I'm going to be spending over a hundred million dollars on the golden shovel and we're going to try to see how much money we can make from this you guys. If you enjoyed today's video subscribe and hit that bell right now because I'm literally spending so much money just for you guys on this video. It's going to be a banger video of course. Go join the discord server guys because whenever I go live again I will be doing giveaways so go check that out link down below we also have a whole community for SRS in there and of course check out the patreon you guys the link is down below if you want to get me added on roblox and more but yeah guys I'm gonna try to keep that intro short and sweet you know what's funny I actually stopped focusing on this only because I feel like so many people are buying these boxes now that like the phantom shoe is not ever gonna be rare just because so many people have it but we'll see Let's focus on today's video. So the golden shovel costs $100 million and you can dig up the golden crocs. We're going to see if we can make any profit in this video, you guys, which I know is going to be pretty hard and that is okay, you guys. This is just for fun. I don't really care about losing money. And again, guys, subscribe, hit that bell and like the video if you guys enjoy me using my money in these kind of videos. But let's begin. We're going to buy the golden shovel in three, two, one. Buy. and now we have the golden shovel you guys also one more thing as well make sure you guys get the blue flip-flops and wear them because it is like the ej yo shoe you guys so get the blue flip-flops wear it in all your lobbies and show everyone that you support the best youtuber in sneaker resale simulator but yeah let's try this out with the ten thousand dollar uh treasure so we're supposed to get plus 100 luck let's buy and let's see what we get man here we go x marks the spot let's do this nothing in here let's go to the next one we have two more x's right here one of these should have the shoe oh we got blue flip-flops talk about good luck you guys see the golden shovel only lets you get the best shoe and that is the best shoe right there <laughs> let's buy another one man let's see what we can get this time that was just brilliant <laughs> that, that was brilliant that we got the blue flip-flops nothing in there let's try again nothing there either all right last x we're gonna see what we get from here man oops <laughs> Now I'm digging up sand that has nothing. All right, here we go. We got, ew, black Crocs. Who who wears those, bro? Who in the world will wear those? Let's buy the level two treasure. Let's see what we can get from this one. Nothing from there. Let's try this one. Oh, we got yellow Crocs. One of the biggest scam shoes in the entire game. Gotta love to see it. How much do those carrot ones go for, actually? Only 21 mil? That's interesting. I thought I'd go for more. So I actually like never use this part of the game at all. So <laughs> this is me kind of learning myself if this is even worth uh, getting money from in the game. If this is a good way of making money. So far it doesn't seem like it, but we will see, man. We will see. Gotta dig up some of these X spots. Oh, we got yellow Crocs again. We'll just pretend they're golden Crocs. <laughs> I wonder what the chances are of getting the golden Crocs. There's nothing on here that says like which one it is. So I think just any of them you can uh, dig up and you have a chance of getting it, which is pretty interesting. But I will say this is actually really fun to do. It is just like hard, you know, to get a rare shoe from this, at least from what I can see so far, because we're even using the golden shovel which is the most expensive and rarest one in the whole game. Oh, I'm digging up the cement. I don't want to break my golden shovel doing that, right? I think one of the few things I'm really glad about about this so far is that the golden shovel is permanent, so it's a one-time purchase. So that means that you will have, like, literally unlimited opportunities to get the golden croc, which is currently worth $666 million. So um, if you think that is not a good investment, um, I don't know what else to tell you. It is a really nice shoe. And I've been thinking, you guys, to make videos more fun on this channel, I've been thinking of actually just straight up buying, like, rare shoes in this game. I feel like it would just be more fun for my uh, viewers as well to watch me actually use the money I have. Because, like I've always said, you guys, I don't really care enough about, like, the money part of this game. I just like having shoes, you know? I like having the shoes to give away and such. So I feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea to, like, invest in a pair of those Barcelonas or even the Golden Boot, man. The Golden Boot, in my opinion, would be such a good purchase. And if anyone here has that shoe and is willing to sell it to me, please comment down below and give me what price you're willing to sell it to me for. And maybe I'll buy it, bro, to be honest with you. Maybe I'll actually buy it. It would honestly be such a nice video, you know? And we got, wow, we keep getting those yellow Crocs. 
I want to buy a one million dollar one and we can get the Shreks and I guess that's like the only good one It's always the grail from here. That's the one you want. So we'll see what we get man We'll see and we got white crocs really let's buy that again Also, I have not been afk grinding much lately, which really does suck, but I should be doing that more It's just I like, kind of don't I feel like I did lose motivation for this game You know only because like especially with, like the viewership in this game. It is very limited So it is like a big risk that I'm taking you know but it's not like the risk isn't worth it in my opinion. It is more of a, I don't spend my money as much as I probably should and that would make my videos more fun. But I also should be AFK grinding. But let's actually buy the level four treasure. $10 million, you guys. Let's see, how much money do we have? We have a lot of money, yep. Let's see, oh, I'm digging up cement again. What can we get with the $10 million uh, dollar treasure, man? Something good, please. Please, something good. Blue, really? Blue sh shark slides? They go for $400,000. These are pretty expensive, surprisingly. But what we want is actually the KSI Crocs, which do go for $97 million. So, so far, you guys, I'm going to answer this question. Is this worth it? Is the Golden Shovel worth it? Well, honestly, no, because even the rarest grail you can get from here, being the uh, KSI Croc, like the most expensive one, even that isn't really worth it because it's not as much as the Golden Shovel. And especially because you have to pay another $10 million for each uh, treasure from that one. But I will say, if what I said is true earlier, you can buy the cheapest treasure, which is only $10,000. And you can literally just try to get the golden crocs if that's really what you're looking for. What the heck is this? Chinatown Market? What? I've never seen this in my life. Bro, I have never seen this in my life. What? <laughs> I've never seen anyone with this shoe in my whole lifetime, dude. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> interesting but that's like the first like rare shoe that we've even really gone so far nothing from there let's see what we get from this one oh we got the pink shark slides absolute dog crap but that is okay let's buy the 10 million dollar one once again i really do want to get the ksi crocs bro that'd be so nice because i've actually never had the shoe before believe it or not all right here we go this one blue shark slides again really let's open up in a hundred thousand dollar one let's see what can we get from this one wouldn't it be so funny if we actually dug up the golden crocs in this video? <laughs> Guys, what are even the chances of getting it? It's probably the same as like getting an air mag or something from the uh, regular box. Yellow crocs again. But I don't know if you can get the golden crocs from any of these or like you have to buy the most, most expensive one or what. Or maybe buying the more expensive ones will make it a higher chance. I have no idea. So we will just have to see you guys. But I will say this is really fun, you know? It is fun to do. And again, we do have that plus a hundred percent luck but even despite that we have not gotten a single grail yet in this video which is pretty concerning but we'll, we'll see how things go man what will we can we dig up two at once and both of them had nothing nice but it's okay man because this little lonely x here by itself it's gonna give us the yellow cracks again <laughs> see i am mixing it up with which uh treasures i'm buying here just to see like what we can get so yeah, I am thinking of uh, investing in more rare shoes in this game, you guys. I am thinking of like actually investing in some nice shoes. Uh, maybe yeah, like sneaker con we can buy. Because I feel like that's like where the fun of the game uh, it really is. It is buying the rarer shoes. And I feel like I've been too greedy with my money to where I just don't want to buy anything anymore. And I'm starting to realize that if I have that mindset, dude, I'm never going to have fun on this game making videos again. So that's why I really do want to start buying like the rarer shoes in this game. I want to buy like all these uh, nice shoes and stuff. But this is definitely something you guys can do in your off time if you're trying to get golden crocs perhaps for 600 million dollars that is probably the best way you can make your money back from uh buying the golden shovel because you make six times the profit i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you guys that definitely does sound like it's worth it in my opinion you could buy the ten thousand dollar treasure and probably get the uh golden croc which is really good also you could see we are losing some of our money again i don't care i i kind of expected myself to lose money in this video like i i did this with knowing full well that I will end up losing money and I do not care that much. So yeah, let's keep going here, man. Let's see what, what do we get? Two X's right here. X marks the spot. Absolutely nothing there. We have to come all the way to this lonely little X right here. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got 7-Eleven. Okay. Okay. $99,000. Okay. Well, that, that kind of sucks, but hey, man, it's 7-Eleven, you know, the $10 million uh, dollar treasure is definitely the best one to get because it is the most expensive one, obviously. Here we go, man. The blue shark slides again, dude. Really? Really? It is a 19% chance, though, so I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty good. I see why it's worth $400,000 now. 7-Eleven again. Dude, give me the KSI, bro, please. KSI, please bless me up. 
From the screen to the ring to the pen to the king. Oh my gosh, I actually hate that song too. That's the funny thing. And I'll genuinely just never understand how they thought the marketing for Lunchly was any good. They should add Lunchly shoes in this game. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. The blue shark slides again. <laughs> We're at $6.2 billion. I don't care if I get off the leaderboard anymore. I've been thinking and I'm like, dude, I don't even care about the leaderboard. Who cares? I'm just a YouTuber, bro. Let's buy $10,000. Let's go from $10 million to $10,000. Let's see. Let's see. What can we get, bro? Blue flip-flops. Man, I'm so lucky. I am so lucky, you guys. I am the luckiest player in the world for getting that. <laughs> and we get nothing. Guys, I have a new trick that I just realized you can do. Take your shovel, use it, and then uh, get out of it, and then it'll open by itself. We get blue flip-flops. Nice. See, guys, that's the luck right there. That's the EJO luck. Let's buy the $1 million one again, man. We're going to try to mix it up a little bit here and there. Here we go. Open it, and we get nothing. I bet it's going to be this one because it's all by itself. Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm always wrong. I always end up getting the last one. White Crocs. No one ever uses those. Buy the $10 million one. Man, we're getting into the thick of it, man, and everybody knows. White Crocs. Nice. All right, guys. We're going to end this video off with the $10 million treasure again. Wait, what? Why do I have a shovel? Okay, anyways, let's see. What do we get from this, man? Can we get something good here? Let's end this video off on a high note, lads. Come on. Oh, it's gonna be this one. Chinatown Market Crocs, really? I don't even think that was the $10 million one. I want to get the $10 million one to end this off. Here we go, guys. $10 million. Can we end this video off with something really good? Let's see right now, you guys. This is for all the marbles right here, and we got blue slides, okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below what you guys think of this method, you guys. I think there is potential if you do focus on trying to get golden crocs, you can just get the $10,000 treasure. Other than that, like, any other way of getting shoes from here, I think it would be a lot of uh, money spent and time consumed. So, in my opinion, I wouldn't really say this method is necessarily worth it, but if you are focused on the golden crocs, I don't see why not. You can just buy the $10,000 treasure over and over again, you guys. And I would say that is probably the best strategy for this. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Stay blessed, you guys. Peace.